the uh, we we obviously heard about his his availability. Uh, we spoke to him probably about a month ago, uh, may, maybe a little bit longer, maybe just before Christmas when when we obviously were looking at players. Uh, at the time, it was too difficult to do. Uh, he obviously plays for a really big club in the Ukraine. Uh, he's played at the very, very top level. You know, when when you, when you're scouting and looking at games that Sergi's played in, you know, you can look at games against Celtic, Real Madrid, Champions League games, uh, Leipzig. Uh, so you, you, you're assessing him against the world's top players, and and when you see his calmness and his quality and his composure and his experience, uh, you 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 see there's a player there that can really help this relatively young group. And uh, you know, I think when. When we when we knew that that, that Damien Law was leaving, we, we wanted to replace him with someone of equally experience. You know, Damo was 31; he was experienced. We wanted a leader back there in the back four, uh, next to Sailor, Mabika, McVeigh, and and the fact that there was an opportunity there to get a really really fantastic deal, someone coming for no transfer fee on a really good salary that fits into our cap was, was too good an opportunity to turn down. So we'd done a lot of work on Sergi. Uh, it was just in the last week he, he became available again. And because he's back in training, there's going to be no adaptation period because of the visa situation that he has means that he can play straight away. So, uh, and I think when you talk to, when you talk to experienced players, they just have a different feel than the young player. You know, they, they, they know exactly what they want. They know exactly how to train and they know exactly how to play. And uh, we hope he brings that experience to Inter Miami. Well, I mean, I, I can I can only speak about playing against the Ukrainian national team and Shakhtar Donetsk. Shakhtar Donetsk have produced some incredible footballers that have gone. You know, they 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 they, they, they invest in a lot of Brazilian footballers, Ukrainian footballers, and they end up in the top leagues in 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 Europe. You know, I think I think Chelsea's just spent 100 million on on one of their players. So so they've got a really good system there, playing playing Champions League football every single season. Uh, and, and what I've always thought about Ukrainian footballers uh, is that they're incredibly, incredibly focused. And uh, you know, when 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 we had the conversations with Sergi, it was like conversations we've never had before because he didn't really he didn't really want any of the of the fluff and the BS. He, he just wanted to talk football and wanted to know his role. He wanted to know what the team was like. He wanted to know how to win, uh, and he, he wanted to know our own ambitions. You know, he didn't. He, he didn't. He wasn't interested in in anything else. And and you know, I think when when since he's come in, I think I think the boys have seen someone that's deadly, deadly serious about football, uh, focused in his work, and uh, has got great experience. What do, you, <laughs> what, do you, what do you take away from that when you review it or whatever? No, I was really disappointed. I've got mm -hmm. to say, I was really disappointed. I think, you know, I think, you know, when you, when 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 after a, a preseason scrimmage, when you're playing two games, multiple teams, you know, there's always going to be a little bit of balance. And I think the balance from our point of view is, is that we're training our players really hard. We're training them through the games, so we're not actually preparing them specifically for the games. They're training. The, the, the games are just a part of our training program and uh, we know that they're, they're probably not going to be going into these games like they would probably an MLS game. They're going to be a slightly fatigued, but that's part of the building process and building them into be a durability for a, a, you know, an 11 month uh, marathon, which this league is. Uh, but I still expect better. I still want more. My expectations of them is far greater than what I saw. Uh, and and I think I think it probably came at a good time when when you know you just every now and again you need a little bump in the road just to just to make make a few a few people aware that you still can't cut corners in anything that you do and you know we had a lot of young players in that second half uh, of the scrimmage who did fantastically well but but again you know you think about the Vasco da Gama game uh, where we played in front of 10 twelve thousand people them young players got a lot of plaudits they've still got to do the same performances against uh, St. Louis in a scrimmage on, on drive pink training facility so it, it came at a really good time we've recovered them for a couple of days because I think they were really fatigued uh, and now we go again this week we're traveling up to Sarasota we've got three four new players with us and I think it's come at just the right time I think we, we have the best training facility I feel is in, in the whole of the MLS and because we stay here all the time the, the one thing that we do lose is we lose that camaraderie and togetherness that you get when you have to travel to a hotel for four weeks. So this week, this week is all about the the the, the social, the togetherness side, about Franco, Sergi, Jake Lacava, Nico Stefanelli, 
uh, Joseph Martinez becoming a little bit more entrenched in the togetherness and the uh, the values of the team and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Was there anyone in the scrimmage that, that you were encouraged by? Something you saw that surprised you? Or? Uh, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, not really. No, I, I think I think what we'll see in the is we'll we'll see players play more minutes. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll see the second group a lot stronger. Uh, you know, we'll we'll have Motta, Stefanelli, Joseph, uh, Christoph, uh, Sergi, uh, Franco all getting minutes in the in in the second part of the game. So that will make the second that will make the second group a lot stronger. Uh, you know, and, and, and people that have been part of that second group will have a feeling that they've got MLS players around them and not and not young MLS two players. We are taking some MLS two players because they deserve to go as well, and we believe in them. So I just think we'll have a stronger pool of players going up to Sarasota. Uh, we're playing against a really experienced manager and team, and, and we always have good battles against them. But it's it's more about everyone getting getting the minutes and the fitness, thinking about the 25th of February. That's really the important date, the 25th of February. And then after after the Sarasota game, that you know the team have got three days off, which is probably the halfway point. And then when we come back from that three days off, it, it's it's then we're talking less than two weeks before the start of the season, which it's then you'll start feeling the excitement.